<laughs> Check the markets, please. It's a rally, folks. Up 270 for the Dow, up 114 for the Nasdaq. S&P is up well over a half percentage point. And here is David Barnes and perfect timing for good coverage of this stock market rally. You're saying ignore the Fed? What do you mean by that? Well, what I mean is that the hysteria that comes off of everything that they say and what it could mean and reading between the lines and all these things. And it really does feel to me like nobody paid any attention for the years after the financial crisis. And, and folks talk as if they expect the Fed to say something like, oh, yeah, we're really worried about this or or we don't think it's ever going to happen. We promise to keep rates forever. They're not going to say either of these things. They, they have party lines they're going to stick to. And there is virtually no precedent of the Fed shocking the markets since 1994. In 1998, Greenspan shocked the markets to the upside. But really, they've telegraphed everything they've done for a very long time. And I think that people need to have a portfolio that is not dependent on the briefcase size of the Federal Reserve chairman, as we used to talk about with Greenspan. Yes, I remember. The, <coughs> excuse me. I remember those days very well, David. Now, what we always like to get from you whenever you appear on the show is dividend plays. Companies, stocks, which pay a strong dividend, which is likely to increase in the future. I noticed that the first pick that you brought to us today is the Simon Property Group. And this huge mall operator, I think they're the biggest mall operator in America, I think. What's the dividend and where's that dividend going at SPG? Well, you know what's ironic is that the dividend was 7% about eight months ago. And they have raised the dividend. And now it's 4.5%. And you say, well, how is that possible? Because the stock price has come up so much. So people who were buying the stock in the later portion of 2020 locked in a 7 to 8% dividend yield. Um, it's a very reliable dividend. The company has about 47% debt to assets. In the financial crisis, they had over 70%. That's why they've come out of COVID so well. They delevered. They have a good balance sheet. $9 billion of liquidity, and they have great assets. Where things have to change with the mall world, they're changing. They're converting into multifamily and, and entertainment centers. They, they just It's a wonderful play, kicks off a lot of cash to us with a great dividend. Uh, take, I'll take 4% if it grows. I'll take 4% if I can get a capital gain as well. SPG, Simon Property Group. Hey, David, good stuff. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Thanks,